A resume is one of the most important documents that will represent you as a candidate and a professional. Searching for work is a job in and of itself, so a strong resume is an excellent start. It is a marketing tool which captures your educational and professional experience and should leave prospective employers wanting to know more. If your resume is done right, they will want to meet the person behind the document. A resume is not a one-size-fits-all. It will evolve over time and it is a personal document. It will require revisions and perhaps several versions based upon the job to which you are applying. Now let's get to the content. First things first, you'll want to provide your contact information, which will go right at the top of your resume. You'll want to use your full name, a current address, a phone number that's reliable for someone to both leave a message and for you to retrieve it, as well as a valid and professional email address, which can just be your first letter and last name or anything similar to that. If you have an online portfolio or a web page that an employer may visit, please include that as well. There are several different styles to listing your contact information. If you're looking to conserve space, you might consider listing your full name and contact information over just two lines of the resume. Both samples 2 and 3 list contact information over several lines if you're looking to fill white space on your resume. An objective tailors the resume to a specific targeted position. It allows the employer to know what you're hoping to achieve with this resume. It lets them know what you can do for them and not what the employer can do for you. It should be as specific as possible, brief, and to the point. It will change based upon the job that you are applying to. Below are two objective sample statements conveying to an employer what you have to offer as far as skills, strengths, and how you can improve their company. The first, seeking a position in sales, marketing, or e-marketing in which communication and technology skills can help an organization achieve its goals. The second is much shorter and to the point. Customer-centric, detail-oriented individual seeks teller position with financial institution. Next, you'll list your skills section. It should include all computer programs you are familiar with including hardware, software, and special programs. You'll also want to discuss technical and foreign language skills. You'll want to include professional certifications and memberships as well. Be careful when discussing your proficiency with certain programs because you may be tested right on site at a computer regarding those programs. Below are examples of skills to list on your resume. Outstanding customer service and sales expertise. Knowledge of day-to-day -day banking procedures. Proficiencies in Windows program and the versions of that. Your typing speed and ability to speak a foreign language. Certifications and professional programs are also warranted. An education section lets employers know where you're currently enrolled and some other educational experiences you may have completed. You'll always want to use reverse chronological order with your most recent experience first. The College of Westchester and its city and state would be listed at the top. Your personal degree and major would come below, along with your expected graduation date, the month and year. Your GPA, if a 3.0 or higher, should certainly be listed. And clubs, awards, and honors, such as scholarships or leadership roles, can only enhance your resume. Related coursework section is important if you're lacking related work or internship experience. You can include this section to emphasize what you're currently learning. Think of your experience section as an umbrella. It may include paid employment, internships, volunteer work, and community service. You'll want to leave out personal pronouns like I or my and the phrase responsible for. Instead, look to use verbs that give the employer an idea of what you've accomplished or attained in that position. Next is your experience section, which will include an employer's name, the city and state, and the dates of your employment. Your job title will come next, 
along with significant duties, activities, responsibilities, accomplishments, and promotions. Verbs at the beginning will indicate what has been accomplished. Some sample bullets are provided below. Provided excellent customer service, performed cashier responsibilities in an efficient and friendly manner, managed the setup, operation, and maintenance of all ground equipment, supervised up to two employees in various shop procedures. This sample resume shows all sections put together in a cohesive resume. Your references should be listed on a separate piece of paper with your contact information right up front as well as three professional references with their contact information as well. Be sure to ask references ahead of time if they are willing to speak on your behalf and notify them when they may expect to hear from a prospective employer.